So what is good people? Welcome to another investing video. In this video, we are continuing our investing $1 a day series. This time we are in episode 17. So that means we need to have a minimum of $119 invested into each asset. Uh, a lot has happened over the past week, uh, especially with crypto and metals. So I'm actually looking forward to seeing how things look here. So first off, jumping in metals, uh, metals did very well over the past week. If we can see our total investment here is $58.44 in gold, $72.28 in silver for a total investment of $130.72. The actual value of that investment, uh, $57.44 in gold, $72.27 in silver for a total value of $129.71. So we can see for the first time, it's actually gold that is down, um, not by much, only by a dollar, uh, is down by a dollar exactly. And then silver is only down by one cent. So um, if we take a look at the chart, silver just went nuts over the past week. Um, when, when we made our last purchase in silver, we were at $67.74, and then it jumped way up to $72.27. So silver has been doing really well. Um, it is currently at $24.09. I think it was like around $22, $23 last week uh, when we recorded the last video. So silver is doing very well. Um, we are still down by a dollar. Um, all things considered so we are not uh well i guess that's kind of breaking even right because we have 130 dollars invested and we're down by a dollar so it's really not much down by less than one percent so i say we're still breaking even on um on precious metals but silver is just out of control look at that that looks beautiful such a beautiful image of going up up into the right that is what we like to see. Um, now, I don't know how long this bounce or this, um, I guess, this run in silver is going to last. Um, I'm actually not even sure what's causing it. There's a lot of different things going on right now. I don't know if any of those one thing, any of, those, any one of those things could be what you could point to to cause such a rapid growth in the value of silver. And I don't know if it's going to continue. But I sure hope it does because I am really happy after just so much time seeing silver decline. It is nice seeing it bounce back. I do hope gold does the same. We will see. So now let us jump into um, stocks. So starting things off over the week, we are pretty much breaking even just like metals. Um, we are down by 0.71%. If we look at our um, our AVAX, AVAX is going to be down simply because crypto got hit really hard last week. Really, really hard. But we're going to jump more into that later. But you can see we are still down by um, 59 cents, which is actually 29%, almost 30% we're down by. Over the week, you can see that huge drop huge drop it's really really hard to see down six percent if we jump back into the actual stocks we can see forward property trusts we are up by almost one percent if we look at our overall performance we can see we have a total return of 14.69 percent which is two dollars and 58 cent which is not bad uh, we do have, looks like nothing has really changed here. So no dividend payment coming. Um, yeah, nothing coming there. If we take a look at the analysis, analysis has not changed much at all. 87% buy and a 12% hold. So still, still doing well there. Nothing much has changed. Jumping into our residential REIT, we are up 3%, 3.31% over the week, which is good to see. But our total return, we are still down by 5.16%, down by $1.09, which is really not that bad considering that we do have um, over four shares in our residential REIT. 
but the analysis is still at a 100% hold that has not changed and we don't have anything pending coming up. Oh wait, we do have a pending dividend of 33 cent that is going to be on August 30th. So uh, towards the end of next week, we'll be getting another dividend payment, which will be a reinvestment of course. So that is always good to see. So I guess technically we are up if we take them out the dividend payment. Actually, no, we're still down because we're down by over a dollar. Dividend payment is 33 cent, but it's still not too bad off. Jumping into EOG resources. So we are down by 2.94% on EOG resources, but our overall return, we're still up by 10.90% and we are up by four dollars and 36 cent on the total investment which is good to see there is nothing pending analysis we're still at an 84 percent buy with a 15 percent hold so that still looks good there and we do that was back in july so yeah there's nothing new here in the history so all in all we're still we're still up overall but uh, down on the short term, jumping into QYLD. So with QYLD, we are up by 0.21%. So it's still basically breaking even. Not much change there. We do have a dividend payment coming of 34 cents. That's going to be on August 29th. So coming in next week. And that's from 1.95 uh, shares. So that is not bad. Uh, basically, two shares, we get $0.34. Cents. So it's a nice dividend coming in. And they don't have an analysis on QILD. And there is nothing recent in the history except for our buy from last week. So all in all, we are pretty much breaking even in stocks. Really not much is changing. What I should probably do is uh, one of these days I do need to switch these a this AVAX into some of the stocks just because it, you know, I already have crypto holdings. So I might as well keep this specifically for stocks. But since they did give me this for free, I figured I'd hold it in crypto for a little while. So our move for this week, um, I think I'm going to continue with QILD. So I'm going to try to get three shares in QILD before I start putting money back into EOG resources and trying to get that up to one share. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to put the full $7 into QYLD. And the market is closed right now. So it'll just be um, a queued order until the market opens up in the morning. So that is it for stocks jumping into crypto so as i mentioned before crypto took a really really nasty hit uh bitcoin dropped eight percent last week um however uh the us dex token is still sitting at 99 cents so i didn't lose any money here with the us dex staking the apr is down now it's down to 14 percent. i think it was at 15 last week so that's just a small change not much of a difference there we still have one dollar and 37 cent in us dex earn and a principal released of 43 cent so not much has changed here i mean it's such a small amount so i would imagine um not much is going to change for a while. And unfortunately, this isn't anything I can put more money into because it is strictly for those people who migrated. So it will just kind of sit like this for a while until there's enough for me to actually claim out. If we go into the Dex vaults, go to my vaults. I'm still in the bull run bandit. You can see that we have uh, $41.77 in here, earning an APY of 18.49% and a daily APY of 0.05%. The TBL has dropped down a little bit, is at $5,853. And you can see that that total investment is down. It's down quite a bit. If we go to the performance, we can see the drop right here. So it was around the uh, the 17th 
um, last week is when Bitcoin had that huge drop. And of course, this is Bitcoin and Ethereum. So both of them drop uh, whatever Bitcoin does. Ethereum usually does the same thing. And so that did hurt the performance. You can see my deposit was forty six dollars and twelve cents. And we are now below that at uh, $41.77. So it's hard to see that one movement like that can completely change uh, your profits in your portfolio. But that is the risk that you run investing into crypto. Of course, I do believe Bitcoin will jump right back up. It will take a little while, but I there's no doubt in my mind that it is going to jump back up. But that is where we are right now. We are down with our investment in the DEX vault, uh, but we're still way up on the US DEX stakes. So the that's that's fine. We're kind of breaking even there. So jumping into crypto lending as the light comes back on. So with KuCoin, um, as you can see, we are only at $29.84, and that is also due to the big crash. The Axie Infinity token that we are lending out, uh, you can see it was doing fine until boom, right there. On August 17th, it jumped, or it fell actually, to $4.83. And that is the risk with um, with a lot of the altcoins, because if Bitcoin just drops a little bit, then it actually hurts the altcoins even more. And so even though Bitcoin only dropped by 8%, um, you can see Axie dropped by a lot more than that. If we look at the week, it is holding steady. Um, but I don't know if it's going to get back up to where it was, even if Bitcoin does recover. We'll see what happens. However, we are still earning. Uh, yesterday, we made two cents on our $30, which is still good to see. So people are still borrowing, borrowing and paying back very quickly. If we take a look at the orders, we can see that we have um, six Axie tokens lent out. And we can see that it's still the same as last week. People just quickly borrowing and paying back uh, very quickly and that adds up each and every time someone borrows they do have to pay the um they have to pay the interest even if they only borrow for like 30 minutes only borrow for an hour they still have to pay interest for that borrow and so because of that we are getting a lot of interest each and every day so this is doing really well uh doing, even though the actual token itself has dropped down in value we're still earning so much from the um, the actual interest of lending it out. So I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to continue to lend out crypto. Um, it might be a good move to buy more into Bitcoin because I do feel it's going to go back. That might actually be a better move. It might be a smarter move for me to just put more into the DEX vault. So that way, when Bitcoin does get back to that uh, thirty thousand, then I'll be I'll be ahead for it. So you know what? Rather than putting more into um, Axie Infinity, I'm going to put another seven dollars into um, into the vault uh, into my bull run bandit vault there we go so i'm putting another seven dollars into here so i'm gonna cut it and then come back after i made the deposit all right and the transaction just went through so we now have 48 dollars and 65 cent deposited into this pool uh you can see a little jump right there with the money that i put in and so I'm actually going to keep putting money into this pool until Bitcoin stabilizes. I think that's probably the best move I should make going forward. So when it gets back to uh, 30,000, that's when we'll go back to putting money into the, um, the crypto lending. So that is pretty much it for um, all the asset classes. Quick recap. So crypto took a huge hit. Um, everything is down in crypto ever since uh, Bitcoin lost at 8%. Uh, but my uh, US DEX stake is still good. So this is still doing good. I'm still up. Uh, this is this was a this was a $28 investment. So I'm still up there, but I'm down everywhere else in crypto. 
with investing in stocks we are pretty much breaking even everywhere some stuff is up some stuff is down but it's by very very small margins so we're pretty much breaking even there and with metals we are actually only down by one dollar one dollar so we're pretty much breaking even in metals although silver is doing really really well hopefully it will continue to do well next week so that's pretty much it for this video. Um, as always, leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Have you also been affected by that huge crypto crash that happened last week? Did you lose any money? Are you going to jump in and buy the dip? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.